Now, weather is also a factor in the completion of the I-15, I-86 interchange in Pocatello and Chubbuck. Local News 8 reporter Cole Sam shows us the progress so far. The historic rebuild of the system interchange in Pocatello is at its halfway point, and motorists will continue to see progress in the coming year. We uh, have got the new northbound lanes up and running. We're using those right now for the southbound traffic. Uh, this next year, we're going to be building five new bridges, including the new uh, bridges over Chubbuck Road, and hopefully we'll be having everything open by next year. With many additions to the project now completed, the interstate is changing by the day. It could be especially confusing at the Pocatello chubbuck divide just past the Northgate exit. That divide over by uh, Northgate is required because of the change in elevation. Um, the new grade is higher than what it was before. Unfortunately, if you're getting onto the interstate from Northgate, you're not going to be able to move all the way left to head south towards Salt Lake. Once the ITD completes the new southbound lanes, that problem will go away. But Justin Smith says it's important to stay cautious in the meantime. As you approach Northgate, you need to watch the detour signs, the traffic signs very closely, um, and understand that the motorists may be a little confused. Give them a little room, show a little patience as you go through there. The project is right on schedule as of now. But with inclement weather a reality right now, ITD is prioritizing safety. Safety is our biggest concern, um, both of the workers on site, also the traveling public. So our plows are out, they're salting the road, they're getting ready to deal with the oncoming storms. Um, the real key here is people need to slow down. There is still plenty of work to be done, but the ITD has a plan for 2024. As we go into this next year, we're going to see more and more improvements. But there's been a lot of dirt moved, a lot of bridges put up, and a lot of road that's been paved. For Local News 8, I'm Cole Sams.